All right, and continuing with the video uh, part one. In part one, we went ahead and created the Google form that you see here. And in the second part, let's talk about the responses that you would get from this. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the sample form for a moment. And if I click responses here, you'll see that nobody has done anything with the responses yet. And then right over here, we have the little sheets, a little create spreadsheet button. What we're going to want to do is click that and that gives us the little window that says create a new spreadsheet and we're going to go ahead and create a new one. So I'm going to click create and it see, you see that it opens up another companion spreadsheet. So we have, here's the form, here is the spreadsheet that will have the results for it, and here's kind of the live form that we see here. So let's go ahead and fill this in right now. So we're going to go ahead and say print coli. Whoops, excuse me. My favorite food is Mexican food, and let's click submit. All right. Now I'm going to go over back. Let's go back first to the spreadsheet. You can see now that what we put in the Google form automatically is dumped into the spreadsheet, which is fantastic because you can then um, do whatever you want with the data. You can sort it by name, by, um, by the type of food. Depending on the form, you can sort the data however you see fit. Um, and the nice thing about the new forms, if I go back here, you'll now see, again, here's the questions that I made. But in the new forms, you can actually click on responses and see the responses actually within the form without having to go to the spreadsheet. And this is broken down into two different things. You can see there's a summary. So right now only one person has done it, that was me. And so that's a summary. And then I can click on individual and it will show the individual responses like you see here. So let me go back to the form and let's submit another response. So let's say this was Sally Smith and Sally loves Indian food and we're going to click submit. And there we go. So now I'm going to go back to the spreadsheet. You can see that Sally's information has been put in here. Once again, if you're not familiar with the forms and the sheets, it's automatically timestamped. You don't even have to worry about that. It tells you exactly when a visitor uh, submitted the form. And if I go back to the tab, you now see two responses. And I'm on the individual setting, so if I scroll down, you can see Brent said Mexican. And right up here, one of two, I can go to the next response. It goes Sally Smith, and it tells you what she did. So this is a really nice new feature of Google Forms. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do a little more customization, adding videos and things like that.